Hello there everybody and a warm welcome to my channel Tarot by Isabella. I hope you're all doing fine and I'm very happy you could pass by here to watch this video. Today's video will be a viewer's question video and um, before we begin to uh, answer some of the, your questions I want to thank you all for all of your support for all of your mails and comments and all of the questions that you have sent me. Uh, I'm sorry if I cannot answer all of them in a video. I will do my best to answer as many as possible, but I have to be a little bit selective and um, so it could be of interest of many. Anyway, uh, the questions I'm going to look into today are following. So I have to take my note and let's see here. The first question is, are there secret cities inside the earth? So like big cities, ancient cities, deep down underground. Are there secret cities there? Uh, the second question is, what will happen to Trudeau? Yes, Trudeau, the famous Mr. Blackface of Canada. And the third question, when will the truth about what is happening to the little ones be revealed? That's a quite serious topic. And I'm going to look a little bit into that. Question number four, will Finland join NATO? And question number five, the last question for today's video, is about a deadly fungus that is spreading uh, in the States. And the question is, will this deadly fungus um, create new lockdowns? Yeah. But let's begin with question number one. Are the secret cities deep below uh, the ground in the earth, inside the earth? And to answer that question, I'm going to use my tarot cards, oracle cards, and some gypsy cards. So let's begin to shuffle the cards. Mm -hmm. And for all of you that also do some kind of spiritual work, everyone have their way to look into the cards. I have my way to interpret the cards. You have your way. And uh, I'm not saying your way is, is uh, bad or wrong. And I appreciate if you can accept that I look in, the, in my way. Uh, reading cards is a uh, quite personal thing. You don't only look at the pictures. You also look uh, inside and the, all the other senses are alert. So if one works with spiritual guides, you can get messages, you can get vision. That is not really associated with the traditional, me traditional meaning of that card. Um, but that card or image can trigger something bigger. So every one of us have our own way to make a sense or make a, make a meaning of what the cards say. Mm -hmm. Just a little note about that. Are there secret cities deep below ground inside our earth? Mm -hmm. Let's see here. One, two, and for this one I think I'm gonna use some dice too it feels like I have to so I'm gonna take some dice on that question One, two, and three. 
Ja. Well, let's see what we have here. We have some mice. We have a happy face, angry face, baby, a castle, uh, unexpected joy. Mm -hmm. The castle came up here. So some kind of structures, buildings, uh, could be cities, do exist. Mm -hmm. And there are different kinds of cities. They are not only um, big castles, you know, something fancy, something be beautiful. We have mice here, and mice are considered pests. Um, they eat, they uh, eat others, they uh, take advantage of others. They are you can say pests and we have a happy face and angry face so there are different kinds of cities beneath the earth there are those who are like pests uh, not so nice and um, not clean uh, structures and there are those who are very beautiful like castles very high uh, elevated where the people are happy and joyful. So different kind of cities do exist. Uh, below the pests, uh, the, the mice, we have nine of swords. Uh, so it's also something that is not so nice, um, not so clean. Mm -hmm. And those, uh, you can call them cities or or some of them, they live being, some kind of beings, and they live like isolated, happy life. And they are worried about what is going on in other cities or at the surface. Yeah. So they are aware that uh, there are other cities, other worlds, um, and they are not totally isolated. Uh, so it is a way to reach them. I also see cities below the oceans, in uh, in the ground below the ocean. So it's not uh, where there are earth, um, you know, dry dry earth, but are also some kind of cities or structures below the oceans. It doesn't have to be in the water. It can be deep, deep in the ground, under the oceans. Because we have two of cups, it's a water, a water sign. And there are different kinds of beings there. So some of them looks like humans, others do not. Oh, that doesn't look so nice. So we have a happy face, angry face. Uh, some of them are nice creatures, other ones are evil. And the evil ones, we have um, the dice of baby. Uh, we have maybe heard myths that the evil ones that live beneath the earth like babies. Uh, pests they eat eat them mm. and between the um, good creatures that live beneath earth and the bad one there have been conflicts yeah and then good ones try to isolate them they don't really don't want to get mixed with anything but they will have to do so so to my uh, to answer the question according to my cards and the dice there are some kind of cities, big cities, on different places, beneath oceans and beneath the earth. Um, yeah, some of them are empty, but some of them there are still um, like societies, big um, uh, communities of 
different kind of beings that live there. Yeah, well, that was my answer to question number one. Let's continue to question number two. And the question number two was, what will happen to Mr. Trudeau? What will happen to the leader of Canada? Yeah, I really messed up many, 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 many ways. So what is his faith now? What is his destiny? What will happen to Mr. Trudeau? What will happen to Mr. Trudeau? And on this, I'm going to take one die. Mr. Trudeau, what will happen to him? Oh, we have an officer, we have a uh, man with empty pockets, and we have some kind of garden. Mm -hmm. And uh, we also have journey, poverty, the hangman. Yeah, for Mr. Trudeau, his future doesn't look so very bright. Um, the officer it symbolizes um, some kind of military intervention. And uh, Mr. Trudeau have made the country poor. There are guy with no money in pockets. And we have five of coins that also uh, symbolize like poverty, a loss of something. Uh, he will lose the position he has today, according to the cards. And he will be brought abroad. He will not be allowed to stay in Canada because we have six of swords and we have the hangman. Mm. So the military man will have something to say and Mr. Trudeau uh, will not be able um, to be in the position he is today. And he will be brought abroad. Mm. Uh, he will try to say, oh, I did my best for the country. I wanted uh, everybody to feel good, um, but that will not help. He still will be taken out of Canada. I need one extra card here. Yeah, and we have Judgment, Knight of Wands, and Six of Wands. Some kind of tribunal, some kind of, um, yeah, you can say tribunal, uh, court. Um, he will be taken, yeah, some justice will be made here. And whatever it will be done, it will be successful. So according to the cards, he will not be in office. And he will be taken abroad by uh, military people. And he will lose everything. He will go into poverty. 
he will not have access to money, nothing. He will become very, very poor. Uh, I need to take one more card. And that is on the question, uh, this poverty and taking abroad, when will this happen? Can we get yeah, an approximate time when this could happen? We have number 10, 10 of coins. So this could happen 10 days, 10 weeks, 10 months, or the month number 10, October. Yeah. A strong number 10, a very strong number 10. Mm. But it's not 10 years. 10 months, month number 10, October, 10 days, 10 weeks. Something in, in that. Well, that was my answer for question number two. <clears throat> Sorry. Let's continue to question number three. And that is... When will the truth about what is happening to the little ones be revealed? Mm. We all have heard about uh, extreme, extreme evil crimes that are committed uh, against the little ones uh, all over the world. A um, lot of, lot of little ones disappear, millions of them every year never to be found and uh, what horrible horrible things are done to them um, yeah that we cannot even imagine and the truth about that when will it be revealed so i'm gonna take some cards on that question and one day. And it looks like this. Yeah, um, we are very many that really, really hopes and prays for that the truth about what's happening to the little ones will be revealed. Um, it's like fixed. It will be revealed. There is no way to get out of it because we have the little ones in the center and they are suffering. We have the hangman and the high priest so a lot of secrets about uh, what is happening to them they are suffering and then they kept in secret and it will be revealed because we have the six of wands so the truth about the suffering of the little ones will be revealed and many children will will be saved and they will have like new parents a new place to stay and when this will be revealed, because it will be revealed, it will cause so much anger around the world, around the people. Mm? Because the little ones are sacred to most humans who have love in their hearts. And you don't touch the little ones. You take care of them, you protect them, you love them. You don't hurt them. And when the truth comes out, people are going to get so mad. So very mad. 
I didn't get an answer when, so I need to take another card. When, when will it be revealed? We have the death card. And death card, yeah, it comes on the little ones. So they are doing, as I said, horrible things to them. And it's number, let's see, number 13. Yeah, number 13. And so it could be 13 days, 13 weeks, 13 months when this truth comes out. Mm -hmm. But the death cards also symbolize uh, an end to the suffering of the little ones. An end to whatever they, it's done to them. And it also symbolizes something that can come when you at least expect it. Normally people don't know when the time is for death to come. It's like also kept in secret. Uh, but it can come when you least expect it. Uh, so could be quite quick when you will least expect it. But a lot of truth will come out within 13 months. Mm. Or if we change the calendar in the 13 months, if we get a new calendar with 13 months, then it will be in the 13 months. But um, yeah, something with number 13. And it will be end to the suffering of the little ones. All the practice that is going on right now, it will end. It will not be allowed anymore. Well, that was my answer to question number three. Let's continue to question number four. And that is if Finland will join NATO. Yeah, <clears throat> many people have sent me that question, so I think it's um, good to look into that. A lot of things happen, happening on the political level. Uh, one day they are joining, another one, another day they have to wait. Now it looks like they are joining, according to the mainstream media. But I'm going to see what the cards are going to say about Finland joining NATO. I'm going to take some cards on that. Will Finland really join NATO? And I take one dice here. I need two. I feel I need two. Let's see what they can say here. If Finland is going to join NATO, it will be very close, almost like they're going to sign it. Mm -hmm. uh, we have the judge here, so there are some um, judges or I say, uh, legal people looking into that. Mm -hmm. It will cost them a lot of money to join NATO. And a lot of people don't want them because we have the hangmen. They feel they're going to hang their country. And strangely enough, uh, even if uh, Finnish politicians want Finland to join NATO and they're pushing a lot of, lot of, I say, 
information on the mainstream, how good is this to join NATO. The, uh, people, the people of Finland, many, many of them don't want to. Um, they're gonna be a lot of protests for joining NATO. Um, the feeling I get here is like they will be almost, almost joining NATO. Uh, it's like just a sign, signing the paper are missing. But in the could be in the last second that will be delayed, or it will be put down. Yeah, so it will be almost like they're joining, but still, at, at the end it will not be, because to have white lilies, and white lilies is uh, flowers you put on. Uh, uh, in funerals, you take white lilies when something is buried, something, yeah, something dies, or someone dies. Mm -hmm. So it will look like yes, but still, like in the last second, it will not be. Mm -hmm. Gonna take one more card here to confirm this. And also we have a castle here on the water and we have water. So it's like it's going to drown the big castle, the um, whatever illusion they make about this, it's going to be drowned. What will happen with Finland and NATO? Mm -hmm. And I said some kind of decision will be made, but still, um, I don't think they're gonna have time to join. Or something will happen that will like crumble that. Uh, so my answer for that question is yes and a, uh, a weak yes, but it will be a no at the end. Could also be that. NATO will stop to exist, and that's why there will not be some joining after all. And why not? Let's take some card about NATO. What would happen to NATO? Is it if that's if if it's um, that's why uh, Finland? will not join at the end because there is no NATO. Well, let's take some card on that. What will happen to NATO? What will happen to this military organization NATO? It will stop to exist. We have Ten of Wands, King of Cups, Seven of Wands, uh, Page of Swords and Five of Coins, poverty, uh, poverty, loss. So the whole organization is going to crumble down. It's going to be poor. It, it will be not functional. Mm -hmm. So something will happen to NATO, according to the cards, that the whole is going to like go bankrupt, bank bankruptcy, or it will not have the strength to continue to exist. Yeah. Well, that was my answer about Finland and NATO. Let's continue to the last question. And that was about some um, deadly fungus infection that is spreading our, to many states in America. And it's uh, quite deadly, this one. And those who get infected from this infection, fungus infection, they get um, similar symptoms, like if you get a strong cold with fevers and shivers, and they really really don't feel good 
and um, this fungus mainly uh, attacks uh, people with low immunity and it spreads mainly in uh, care facilities like um, elderly um, care homes, hospitals, and, um, yeah, areas like that. So elderly and people with low immunity, and we know, we who know, we know, who are having very low immunity um, at the moment of the population. Many people who have taken the new treatment, unfortunately, they have also destroyed their immunity. Mm -hmm. uh, many, not all, but many. Mm. And it says here about this deadly fungus, it's called Candida auris, and it's um, drug resistant. So there are no really drugs that can uh, kill this fungus or make it disappear. So that also make it very dangerous because there are not any treatments that really works on this fungus. Mm. And they say that those people with low immunity that get this fungus infection, unfortunately, almost more than one third of them, uh, for them, it, it's a deadly. So it's a very, very high death rate, uh, this infection. So I'm going to take some cards about this fungus infection. Uh, how it will, if it's going to spread more or if it's going to lead to some kind of lockdown. So the fungus infection was called Candida auris. auris. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's see about Candida auris. auris. Two cards wants to come, so we have to take them. Mm -hmm. Gypsy card and uh, Oracle card. And I'm gonna take some diets. This one. See what we got here. Yeah, what do we have? Merriment, dog. Uh, amusement park wheel, uh, some little tree and watching. Yeah, so this fungus infection, mm -hmm. and it will be watched uh, carefully, and it will grow, but I don't see it uh, grow so much that it will spread like wildfire and it will cause some kind of uh, national lockdown. Mm. And people who have faith, so a lot of people are gonna say, oh, it's a punishment of God or something like that, but it's really not. They're gonna get this fungus infection under control somehow. Maybe it could be some new kind of treatment that is not available. Um, 
that this fung uh, fungus uh, can uh, be treated with. I don't see a treatment like this. It's more like uh, some natural uh, medicine that they're going to use this time. A lot of people's gonna get scared because we have the high priestess also symbolize uh, elderly women, uh, elder women or elderly, elderly people. Yeah, and they're gonna a lot of elderly people gonna get worried more women than men, mm. and they will try to scare people with it because we have the tower. Oh, and the world is falling down. It's so deadly. And it's so dangerous. Uh, but really I see they're gonna get this under control. And I don't see um, lockdowns. Or like it's gonna spread like infect uh, hundreds of thousands of people. No, it will be here and there. Some, but it, it, they're gonna have it under control. There are a lot of natural remedies that are good against fungus. So I think they're going to try uh, something that uh, conventional big pharma medicine um, will not be able to cure. Mm. Uh, we have the page of wands that came up here. So they're going to look for and try to find something different. And I said, as I said before, they're gonna find it in the natural herbal medicine sector. And it will be treatable with this kind of medicine. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take one last card here about lockdowns. Uh, will there be Lockdowns due to this. Even if I don't see it here, um, let's take another one about this fungus. No, I don't see lockdowns. I see more that will be advised for those who have a low immunity or maybe also, you know, like with cancer or. Uh, other kind of treatments that lower people's immunity that they will have to be extra careful or maybe the, those people will not be treated in big hospitals because the risk of getting this fungus is uh, is higher in care facilities could also be that they're going to use some new kind of cleaning or distillation or sterilization product that will be able to uh, clean out the, this fungus. It will be scary, but I don't see it like a new kind of pandemic with many, many people passing away. And since we have the temperance and we have ten of cups and good news, so yeah, they're gonna get it under control. Well, that was my answer for today's viewers questions. And uh, if you have liked what you have seen and heard, please don't forget to press like button, share button and subscription button. And if you maybe have some interesting question that could be good for many, uh, you are more than welcome to mail me the question or maybe write the question in the comment sec uh, section below. And I will do my best to try to answer it. I cannot promise you that I'll be able to answer it, but uh, I will do more of these viewer questions videos in, in the future. So possibly there is a big chance maybe your question will pop up then. And to all of you wonderful, wonderful viewers, I wish you all the best. Uh, stay together, help each other. Uh, together we're gonna manage to go through these difficult times and once again thank you so much for watching and hopefully we're gonna see each other soon again bye bye